Hey girl, hey, it's me, Amber D, and thank you so much for coming through for another video. If you haven't already, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, girl. It is Saturday morning, and just after 8.30, and I am in my bedroom about to get me a quick poll session in. It's been about a month since my last poll session, so um, it's been a minute, but not like a whole minute. I've definitely taken longer breaks before, so um, I know it's going to feel good to get on the poll today, but I know I'm going to feel it even more tomorrow. <laughs> All right, girl. So it is later in the day. 
I got my pole session in. I can I can already feel it. Not in a bad way, but I just my body like I can tell I moved my body today and it feels really good. Um uh, and then I had myself some breakfast. Um I got myself all done up and cute. Um uh, I was actually um creating some content and recording um for another project, but um in the process of getting ready, I tried a couple new different um products. You know, um Last weekend, I did a wear test on the mascara that my husband got me when we went um, to Ulta. Um, and I, I tried this CoverGirl Uncensored Mascara, the Exhibitionist Hydro Rouge, Hydro, Hydrofuge, <laughs> Hydrofuge Mascara. And although I loved it, um, it's waterproof and it literally took like two and a half days to get all of it off since I don't really do any type of makeup remover other than my nighttime skincare routine which is thorough but it does include an actual makeup remover so um in our weekly walmart run i replaced it with this one this is the covergirl exhibitionist stretch and strengthen mascara and this is three coats not bad i actually really really like it it shouldn't take too long to wash off since it's just regular mascara but i think this might just be my new mascara it has um a fluffier brush, you know, I typically like um, a smaller mascara brush, but I have had pretty good luck with thicker, fluffier mascara brushes in the past and so far so good with this mascara. But also, you know, um, I've been without like a makeup primer for a while since the last few ones I was using started to irritate my skin. So I switched my focus from finding a good matte primer to finding a good matte setting spray. So this is the first one that I'm trying. Um, I did a YouTube search on drugstore setting sprays because you know I'm all about the drugstore beauty. And it was between this NYX one and the one from Milani. Uh, but since I'm already pretty familiar with the NYX brand, I have other NYX products, I went, to, um, I went ahead and tried this one first. And um, we'll see. I mean, I literally just used it. So um, I'll give it a wear test for the rest of the day and see if it keeps me matte any longer than I would have been matte anyway, which is not very long. Um, and I'll see, I'm pretty sure I'll have to, um, block my skin at some point, but I'll see if it takes longer to get to the point where I have to block. So wish me luck, girl. But I don't really have, um, much else on the agenda today other than, um, my post session. And then, like I said, I got, um, I was recording and filming some stuff, um, before so that was kind of the bulk of my day but um now i'm just gonna chill out with my husband for a little bit i'm gonna figure out we're gonna eat for lunch and i will catch up with you in a bit So <clears throat> it is later in the day and I have not blotted my face at all. So as you can see, we are pretty shiny. Um, I'm just going to see, I'm, I'm not going to blot my face until I'm ready to wash my makeup off later in the day. So I'm just going to see how shiny we get and do like a real wear test but so far i mean i'm gonna try it out again and i say that because my first time using it i don't know if i did enough i don't know if i was if i sprayed it when i was close enough or too far away but so far it's not keeping me super mad but yeah girl i've just been chilling um 
found me a little Harry Potter marathon on TV. So, <laughs> currently watching part six, The Half Blood Prince, which is actually one of my faves. But um, my husband is out on the back patio, um, still working on some of his new spray paint art that he's um, recently gotten into. And I actually really love that for him. Um, I know for the past minute I was gonna say for the past few months but even longer than that work um, his job has been really stressful for him so um, I know you know his time off is always you know a, a, a very important time for him to just kind of you know you know let all the stress from work melt away and I'm I'm I really truly believe that this spray paint art this artwork that he's kind of really gotten into lately is very much a stress reliever for him and I know he needs all the help he can get when it comes to stress and and unwinding and relaxing and just kind of you know compartmentalizing and kind of being able to step away from a really stressful situation and enjoy the moment that you're in even knowing that you're going to have to go back into that stressful situation but I hope this is this is very much a big help for him. I mean, I'm loving what he's doing so far. That crate that he was doing, um, actually just um, a video that he saw with like a new technique with um, you going in with your first colors and then some dish soap and then you go in with the black and then you spray it off like with a water hose and then it leaves a whole design. And he saw the guy do it on a on not a crate. So it came through, the design came through a lot more but that crate is actually just to hold his spray paint and all his spray paint and supplies and stuff. So he was just kind of testing out the new technique. But um, I'm excited for him. And we actually have already been talking about, you know, some plans for him to do some specific artwork for a specific plate, you know, spots in the house. Um, so I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm loving it. I love artsy fartsy things anyway. So I'm really enjoying that he's kind of getting into it, too. Dumbledore's asked me to get to know him. Get to know him? I don't know. It must be important. If it wasn't Dumbledore, wouldn't ask. I was out there with my first girl, but for a little say it's too damn hot. So I'm recording from inside the house, but <laughs> he's enjoying finding new ways to create some fun stuff and then, you know, playing around with different colors and different size things and different techniques. So I love to see it. This is nice. I like it. You can't even really, I mean, it's not even coming through as good as it is because of the shadow, but it looks really good. Yeah. I like, this is cute, baby. You see, I tried a little water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My baby, the artist. Have a crate turned down. You look like a tag artist. <laughs> you look like one of those people that work like on the boardwalk or on the beach, making making street art for people. <laughs> All right, girl, so as you can see, we are heavy on the oily vibes. I have not blotted my face at all today. So that setting spray did absolutely nothing. But again, 
I'm going to test it out at least one or two more times. Um, try and maybe a little bit closer, a little bit more. You know, just seeing exactly how I'm supposed to use the product because this is my first time ever using setting spray. So I'm not even sure if I used it right. So I'm going to give it a couple more times. If it's still looking like this at the end of the day, then I'm going to go ahead and try the one from Milani. Um, that was the other drugstore brand that had um, some pretty good reviews. So I'll try that one next if I can't get this one to work. And then if I can't get that one to work either, then maybe I'll try a more high-end brand setting spray to see um, if that works better. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and wash this makeup off. And I feel like I'm having a good hair day, though. It's dirty. I'm going to wash my hair tomorrow, but let me quit stalling and wash my face and get in the shower. <laughs> Okay, so let's wash this oily ass makeup off. I am going to use my baby shampoo. I always go in with two pumps of this on my hands and just wash my face, get my makeup off, rinse that off, and then I'll go in with one more pump on this and then go all over again. And then once that's, I know all of the dirt oil makeup I know all of that's gone and then I'll actually wash my face with this um regenerating daily cleanser from equate um there's actually a new cleanser that I want to try <clears throat> it's a foaming cleanser um but I'm gonna wait until this is gone before I try anything else Okay. It feels good knowing that all of that mascara is off. <laughs> okay, now I'm about to hop in the shower and then do the rest of my PM skincare routine when I get out. All right, guys, so in and out of the shower. Now I'm about to finish out the rest of my skincare. I got my toner. Just on my little, you know, I like these little woven cotton rounds, but I use the other side. And this is just um, an astringent for sensitive skin. Um, there is another toner that I do want to try. Um, it has um, niacinamide in it, which you know um, is good for um, even in the skin tone and fading dark marks. And um, the toner itself is also supposed to help close your pores and help with um, texture on the skin, which actually texture on my skin has been doing really, really well lately. I used to have texture like right around here, but um, my AM toner, I found this a few years ago, cleared that right up. But right now, the only t uh, texture I really see is kind of right around here. I have seen it gotten better since I started using that little pore suction thing I was showing you the other day, but um, still a little bit there. But mostly what I want to try that toner for is um, to help fade um, dark marks and then um, to help with my pores. The My biggest pore area is like right in here. But again, since I've been using that pore cleaner thing, it's gotten better. It's definitely gotten better. But... Um, 
I don't really like to try new products at the same time because you know how my skin is. So um, I like to try new product, make sure my skin likes it or not. If it does, you know, after about a week, maybe two, I'll know I'm good. I'm not having any reactions. It's not making me, it's not clogging my pores and making me break out or anything. I know I'm good. So um, since... Um, since I recently started trying this new serum, this is the um, Glow Baby Serum um, from Pacifica. Pacifica. It has um, glycolic acid and vitamin C. So with the glycolic acid, I make sure um, to use this as my PM um, serum. But since I just, um, it's been about two weeks for this one. So since I know this is good, not causing me any issues, any irritation, I know I'm good to go ahead and try another new product. And if I do have any issues, I know it's going to be because of the new product and not this one. But I mean, even two weeks in, I know this this product isn't causing me any irritation or anything. But I also can already tell that it's working. I can see the overall, the um, my, like the, my overall brightness of my face overall is definitely brighter, more even toned than before. And um, like I was telling you before, I know um, like some of the dark spots where I um, like before I started getting laser hair removal, where it was like really like a lot of hyperpigmentation and, and scarring here. Um, most of it has faded over time because it's been over a year since I've been getting laser hair removal. But there are like some really stubborn marks here that I just kind of assume that may be permanent since they weren't fading. Um, but when I started using that... Um, that sheet mask with the niacinamide, which has it's not discontinued, but it's like no longer available at Walmart. You know how much I love that mask, but I can start to see like the dark marks fading a little bit, and then like adding this in, it's like they are fading. So I'm really hopeful for this new toner um, to help kind of get in and and fade what's left because it's really not much left. It's really honestly, it's really not much left, but. Um, now I'm just going in with my eye cream. Okay, I think you can see it's the anti-wrinkle firming eye cream. And this is from Equate. It's um it's a Olay, I believe a Olay Regenerous Dupe. And this eye cream right here, girl, I love it. I absolutely love it. It I can tell a difference in my under eye area i kind of started to feel like i was starting to see like some fine lines there that i didn't really want to see and since i started using this like i can definitely see they're almost gone like they hadn't turned into wrinkles or anything yet but they were definitely there they were well i mean i could see that they were there and i didn't feel like my eyes looked as young and bright as they once did they start kind of started to look a little bit tired like the skin under here looked a little bit tired um but not really not anymore i mean in the morning i do kind of wake up puffy eyed sometimes but typically by the time i'm done with my skincare routine it's already starting to go down and everything is looking more back to normal how i wanted to look and then the last part of my pm skincare routine well actually the last part of my skincare routine period is this advanced firming anti-wrinkle day cream for face and neck yes this is a day cream yes i use the am and pm and it absolutely works it's lightweight enough not to clog my pores but it, i do my skin does feel moisturized like my oily skin feels moisturized without being too much too heavy and like like when it says for face and neck it is most definitely for face and neck this i i was on a hunt for a good night cream for a very long time a very very long time because most anti-aging night creams are are very very heavy very hydrating you know very very thick and dense and creamy because most people who are at the anti-aging phase in life have drier skin than i do and so it was hard for me to find a good anti-aging cream for day or night that wasn't too much for my skin but um 
I'm excited to be able to try the new products. And I mean, skincare is really my thing lately. You know, I've just been talking about how, you know, I'm really, really lightweight, really casual when it comes to my makeup. And I've just kind of really been focusing on my skincare routine. And I'm loving the direction that it's going. I feel like I'm finally finding the right ingredients and the right products that my skin needs in order to kind of regulate itself and look how I want it to look. And we are moving right along in the right direction. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and close the vlog out here. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. If you haven't already, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.